God feeders. Hello, welcome to God Healing Thursday today. I picked another day so because some of you can't do Tuesday. So I was like, okay, let's do Thursday for a change. And I'm also gonna, I have some Instagram people here. If you can see this, they are, they are wanting to join the live Q&A as well. So, but we're gonna do all the questions. I'm just gonna be answered on YouTube and I'll turn the Instagram thing off in a second just to collect some Instagram. Uh, follow us as well to the YouTube channel. Maybe somebody hasn't heard of it yet. So yeah, welcome everybody guys. Um, let me know if this is your first time you're joining, then just say me in the chat box. I would love to hear if you're new and welcome Hope85H. Steven is here as well. Hi Steven, long time no see. Marta, health and hygiene, William. Yolanda, hi Katie. Katie is also a member of the Gutfeeler Academy. Sarah, another Gutfeeler Academy student. And then we have in the clearing emotion, that's Natalie. Hi Natalie. Wow, this <laughs> place is crowded, guys. Lynn, hi Lynn, Astro, Chrissy, Shireen, pa Paulina, uh, I48 Farms, Tara, Emlyn, Steve R. Amazing, guys. You're all here. Let me know if this is your first time, just put me. Oh yeah, it's your first time, great. That's awesome, uh, 58 farms, that's great. Um, Paulina is new as well. So I would love to, everybody, and uh, Ayofe, Ryan, I'm probably pronouncing that bad. <laughs> um, welcome as well, first time. So um, guys on your Instagram, I'm gonna hop over, there's just one left, that's good. I'm gonna end this now, and I'm gonna put all the attention on YouTube. So. See you over there in you on YouTube. Uh, now is the time. Okay, there we go. Hop, this is done. So guys, I would love to know from you, everybody, um, just one word, how was your day so far? Maybe you're seeing this in the night and you have already some day or it's morning or afternoon. Here it's 4 p.m., just the, the best uh, afternoon time. And it's raining. <laughs> Ah, it's Irish, all right. Abundant, Shireen, that's amazing. Welcome, Virginie, as well. So let me know in the chat box first. If it's your, your first time, let me know me. And if it's not your first time, let me know um, how was your day so far, just one word. One word, hi, welcome, Zen. Zen, Zen is green because he is a member of the channel. He supports the, uh, he makes, he's one of those guys, or she, I think you're he, um, who make the live Q and A's really happen. Um, dentist time, all right. A little overwhelmed today, Natalie. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer is a one-on-one -on -one client. Uh, good, that's amazing. Sweet. Welcome, George. Katie's busy, me too. All right, good guys, so welcome everybody. What we're doing today, so how this is usually working, if this is your first time joining, how this usually works is sometimes I have a theme that I start with, like today. Today we're gonna to talk about um, what to do if you've been trying to heal for years and you're still struggling. And after that, we're gonna go into your questions. I'm gonna answer as many questions as possible. And uh, one way to stand out for the questions or like the, the base format is always posting your questions with free question marks in the beginning. Just look at what the other gut feeler is doing in the chat. And if you want to stand out, being a gut feelings uh, channel supporter here and then you're green, that's a good way to stand out. Or you can use the super chat as well. But really, if you just post your questions and you feel like, hey, I'm drowning, you know, there are too many questions, I really need this answer, just use the super chat button and donate whatever you want to support the channel and make these live Q&As happen for everybody for free. And if not, um, I'll, do, I'll just do my best to answer as many questions as possible. Sounds good? Sounds good? <laughs> yeah, Sarah, we just had a, um, Sarah just posted in the in the Q&A, we just had a one-on-one -on -one, um, session this morning, which was awesome. Welcome, Tara. <laughs> Great. Okay, I'm drinking, by the way, here um, some, this is like a chai tea with a little bit of almond milk to make it like an afternoon thing, you know, instead of coffee. Uh, and I burnt my, my, my tongue. By the way, guys, 
I wanted to know from you, um, because it has been a topic, um, do you experience cravings at the moment? You know, like, like for unhealthy food. Is that something that you're craving right now? And the reason why I'm asking is because I had it brought up in several client sessions and myself, I feel right now, I feel really like, oh, I want this cake and I want the, the pastry and stuff. And here in Panama, everybody is just, you know, they don't understand gluten-free or vegan or stuff. They're like, hey, what's that? You know, everybody's just eating the same thing. Oh, Shireen as well, Paulina passed as well. Okay, cool. Steven, okay, cool. It's not, ah, amazing. Mary as well, Astro, great. So we're not alone. <laughs> so what I did, um, I'll admit everything, you know. I'm not perfect. So what I did is I went for the best alternative. I had rice crackers, which are gluten-free, you know, rice, puff rice, with some uh, jam, which is 100% fruits. So it's super sweet, but it's just fruits, nothing else, from like a French... Um, a French company. Um, they are really cool. They have this long, tall class. I'm not sure if you've ever seen this. And I found wild blueberry. Would you, would you believe it? So I had this just before. So I'm a little bit like sugar, 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 sugar. But uh, yeah, better than the pastry. So I made it around the pastry. Um, all right. Okay, cool, Jennifer. I'm happy you're not craving right now. Yeah, I, I get that, totally. All right, let's get started. Um, welcome everybody new, 48 gut feelers watching right now live. That's amazing. By the way, if you like this kind of stuff, you know, if you like the, like, like the Q&As, you can just right now, very silently, just hit that like button under the video so other people can find the video um, more easy and it also boosts the channel and exposes it to more, to other health seekers as well. If you feel like doing that right now, now's the time. Okay, so what to do, um, how to finally heal after years of suffering. This is the, a topic that I would love to just, you know, point on a few minutes and then we'll go into your life questions. And the reason why I've chose this topic is first, um, because I hear it all the time. I hear, I actually asked on Instagram and I asked like, anybody of you feeling that healing takes forever? And 100%, I think like 40 people or so answered everybody, yes, 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 yes. And this is literally how it's a, like most of the time feels. It's very rarely that it's just, you know, I'll do this and then I'm healed, you know, forever. And I just can eat pizza all day. I wish, I wish. Um, and the second reason why I'm, I wanted to talk about this is because that's been part of my journey. You know, like 15, I struggled with several chronic conditions for 15 plus years. And um, basically since I'm three years old. You know, it started when I'm when just when I when I was born, I got already like lung infections and everything, and um, a tetanus. Um, you know, this I don't know how you say this in in, in English, um, where you had like you have a mild uh, blood poisoning. It was really like since I'm born, but especially since I'm three, I had several allergies. I had malabsorption, um, food intolerances, digestive issues, asthma. Um, Every every season, um, the allergies would get worse. I had no energy. I had itching all the time. I basically, at some point, I had just I put my head in cold water, like when I was, was like when I was studying uh, in university medicine, because I didn't know what else to do. The antihistamines wouldn't work, so I put my put like the sink full of cold water and basically just put my head in there just to cool down this head. I had cold feet and hot head, the worst um, combination ever. So if that's something you relate to, yeah, may, whatever health struggle you are struggling with right now, please know, like, first, most important message, if you any, take anything away, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not that you're doing something wrong or your body is faulty or you deserve it or any of this BS. It's, that's not the case. And um, just to share, like, a tiny bit about, about my struggle is that um, – you know, I've been struggling like since I'm tiny, but then when I started university, um, my, my health symptoms basically got really, really bad when I started school and then university. Also, my glasses get, got like worse. And by the time I was uh, in university, I've tried everything. You know, I tried all the tests. I went to all the doctors and um, medication. You know, I was in several medication, over-the-counter prescription drugs. And I remember this this one day when... 
I came back from doing these weekly immuno shots, you know, where you get like basically like half dead um, antigens, yeah, or pollen or whatever you're allergic to, you, they, they shoot it into your arm. <laughs> Don't ask me if that's a good idea, it's not. Um, but I didn't know, you know, I was trying everything um, for these severe allergies because I couldn't function. And after that, I felt like so tired that day. I felt so tired, I, could, I mean, more tired than usual. And I couldn't, fo I couldn't focus, I couldn't concentrate. And I know that I had an, uh, an exam, like a super important exam for my medicine studies the next day. And I just felt like I, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't do anything. I was, I was paralyzed and um, so I basically gave up. You know, I felt like I wanted just to, to like give up. And the thing that I remember the most is that I hated myself. You know, that's why I'm saying this is not your fault. I hated myself and I hated my body because everybody, you know, said like your body's attacking itself and, you know, it's your genes. Your dad died from a brain tumor, you know, and you also had allergies and my mom has multiple sclerosis, you know, so I had basically like already a sick family. And I just felt like this is so unfair. You know, because I'm eating healthier, I'm studying medicine, you know, I should be the healthy person and not like all the students around me who are eating Burger King and they didn't have any issues. Um, so for me, like at some point I felt like I've, I've reached the dark, the dark bottom of the ocean. You know, if you, if you imagine like 15 years of sinking down, you know, trying everything to get back to the surface, trying everything to get back to the surface and then just sinking down deeper and deeper and more more struggle, more pain, and more frustration and judgment. And um, this has felt like drowning for years, you know? And I felt like the only way, because I was, I was at the bottom, you know, for me. And somehow, weirdly enough, it felt almost like a relief because I've, I felt I can't get, get any lower. You know, I don't have any energy. I don't want to get out of bed. Um, I have all this itching and, and bloating and, you know, just feeling sick and everybody tells me, oh, it's just allergies, it's fine, you know, it's, it's okay, everybody has that, yeah. And um, I couldn't I couldn't do anything anymore. So basically I was um, so on the bottom that I felt like the only way to get back to the surface is by going within, you know, because I tried everything external already. I tried, you know, tried to get out of this, asked for help, took the medication, did the tests, you know, was like a brave student doing everything the, how you should do, and it didn't help. So my my intuition was like to go within and to, um, yeah, basically somehow learning to to trust this the thing that happens inside to get back to the surface, because I couldn't go any lower. I was already on the bottom. And the good thing about hitting rock bottom is that somehow it gave me strength. Although I was completely, you know, exhausted and everything, it's hard to describe. Um, let me know if, if that kind of relates to you. It's, I know I'm just describing it. Um, but that day when I hit that button, what I did is I made a decision. I basically, I said to university goodbye. You know, I said like, I'm not doing this anymore. I can't. And um, I quit the, the medicine studies and went on my own search to heal. To, to healing, you know, my own research, trying stuff out. Um, so my answer to, uh, to, this, to this question is how do you, um, how to finally heal after years of, of, of suffering is don't trust doctors and testing. You know, it's fine if you really want to do it, you know, but don't trust them because they don't, they don't know any, they, they can't help you really. They, they don't know you and they don't, um, the, the training that we get in university is basically just like the body's a car, you know, like that, 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 do this. If they, that doesn't help, I don't know. Then you get to the next specialist and the next specialist. So instead of trusting doctors and testing and medication, um, this journey, really, what this is all about, what I'm, what I'm, you know, what I'm here to share with you is um, this connection with your, with your gut feelings, you know, because your body is never against you. The body actually has the answer inside. I'm a strong believer in where the question comes from, the answer is born as well. So um, if you want me to, you know, if you're interested in more of this stuff, I don't want to take up more time um, because I also want to answer your questions. Um, if you want to learn more about this stuff, I did, uh, I created a one hour long training where I go in depth about 
um, how I was able to heal myself, a little bit more about the struggle and what I was dealing with, and also the steps that I took you know, like really like in order, uh, it's called the gut feeler system and the steps that I took to get out of that after 15 years, you know, of no help and just getting worse. And those steps, they are universal. So you can also use them in your own, in your own healing process. And it's for free. You can join it. And I put the link in the um, comments. It's basically peggyshermer.com slash masterclass. It's called Masterclass or Gut Feeling Strength. I'll put it here in the comment box as well in case somebody wants to check it out right now. So that's where you can, you know, where we can get more into, uh, into all this healing journey because there's so much lie and misconception and really makes us suffer more than necessary. So I would love to, um, just before we, we move to the questions, I would love to know, like, who of you, have, has anybody of you joined this training already? The Gut Healing Training or Masterclass? I gave it several names. Anybody? Anybody of you joined this already? Um, let me know. I know that Katie and Sarah joined it because they are part of the Gut Feeler Academy. And that's like the, yeah, Natalie. <laughs> Natalie as well. So, Lynn, M. Lynn, you have joined it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, thank you, Bruno. You, you're too sweet. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Katie. So, yeah, that's, and that training is for free. You know, you can just, in your own time, I recommend really highly that you take that hour for yourself. You don't, you're not disturbed by anybody because this is pretty Im intense emotional stuff. It's not just, you know, not just a YouTube live video or stuff like that. I'm, I'm, I'm getting emotional and I'm also using, helping you use emotions to make the next, um, the next step in your healing journey. Because that's what emotions are really for. They can drive us forward in our, in our growth so um, make sure that it's a private time that you have you know you're not driving your car not a good time to start emotions and um, you take a um, piece of paper have that one hour blocked and then sign up for the training and then you can watch it in your own time awesome astro smash that sounds good greetings from germany that's amazing greetings back to germany <laughs> sarah cool okay good guys i'm having a zip what are you drinking? Are you drinking anything? Anybody? Hi, Idaho Dream. Hi, Margaret. <laughs> oh, th Zen, that's, that's sweet to say. You discovered me at a crucial time in life and now you're living. I appreciate that. Tina Organic Milk Latte. Wendy from Ireland. Nettle with lemon balm. I like that. Ginger tea. Welcome, Daniela. Lemon water, water, butternut squash soup. <laughs> water, somebody's drinking red wine. Don't tell anybody, Virginie. Spirulina, no sha. Okay. okay, all right, guys. So for the gut feeders who just, um, I was in the spam folder dictionary, pictionary, that's bad. Go reply back to my email, then you're never going to land. My email is not going to land in your spam folder. Raspberry leaf tea. Okay. Guys, for everybody who just joined, the way to um, post your questions is using free question marks in the beginning, not in the end, in the beginning. And that's how I can see that it's not just a comment, it's an actual question that you have. Just mirror the other uh, gut feeders who are doing that. Okay, guys, let's get started. I'm scrolling up, 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 up. Katie. Katie, our gut feelings member, gut feeler member. Hi, Peggy. My feet have been turning purple again almost the whole day unless elevated. What can I do to help clean my blood? Okay, so guys, in general, Katie knows this already, but when your feet are changing color or they are very cold or very hot, you know, like for example, what, one of the symptoms that I had as well in the past, and it's still healing, you know, it's not completely gone. That's why I'm living in the tropics. Um, but my, my, um, I had the same issue, you know, especially it was more before and now it's like less, but 
that um, what that really means is that something that medical medium calls toxic blood syndrome. And that is something that happens over time, but it also can be triggered when you are on a healing path, you know, when you're starting to release more toxins. And that's exactly what uh, Katie is doing because she's part of the Gut Feel Academy. So she's on her healing um, journey. And um, so the, the feet have been turning purple again, um, unless you put them up. This is why they, you know, then the, the, the blood flows back to the back to the center. What can you do to help clean your blood? So Katie, I remember that last time we had this rebounding discussion and um, that might be a reason why now the symptoms are coming back more. So we want to look into something, how we can activate the lymphatic system more. Because when your lymphatic system is more um, active, which needs, which is a passive system, so it needs the movement, um, then the, the whole detoxification process is easier. You can also work on, if you can, you know, with, if you can digest it, increasing spirulina, drinking like crazy, barley grass juice powder also helps oxygenate the blood, and toxins and viruses hate oxygen. Blah, blah, blah. This is why breathing is so effective in the healing journey as well. But in general, moving, moving would be good for you. You know, like all kinds of stuff. Um, and we had the dancing. We had the reggaeton dancing in the last um, in the last uh, group uh, coaching session in like two weeks ago or something like that. So that's something you could do. And then just being patient, drinking like crazy, easy diet. Um, it's temporary. It's it's gonna come and then it's gonna go a bit, and it's gonna come, it's gonna go a bit, and the tendency is up, up, up. But um, yeah, we know how the healing journey works, right? Katie, at least we do. So I hope this helped. Um, <laughs> Lynn, Lynn Fox, one of the early birds. Uh, how do you treat the? How do you treat a stomach ulcer? So the stomach ulcer, the best way to treat a stomach ulcer, and that will sound weird, is to help your body not to to um, numb the stomach acid or to uh, to alkalize the stomach acid. Acid blocker, not a good idea. And you will see this when you watch the video, Lynn, or everybody who deals with um, stomach issues, acid reflux, uh, gastritis, all of that, ulcers. What you want to focus on, you want to heal your uh, gut lining, uh, your, your stomach lining, but also rebuild your good stomach acid. Because the acid, what's burning there right now, when you have this ulcer, is likely caused by antibiotics. That's cause number one. Like medications are one of the biggest causes that for stomach ulcers. Has anybody ever told you that? Gave okay, you all these all these uh, medications or antibiotics? Probably not. Um, at least not me. And <laughs> Peggy, what are you doing? I'm just counting. Um, and the second one is so looking into you know. While you're doing this, the stomach acid that the or the acidity in your stomach, if it's creating an ulcer, is not your good stomach acid. It's not your good stomach. It's an acid produced by bacteria, by pathogenic bacteria like H. pylori, uh, H. Richard coli, Streptococcus, uh, resistant strain of strep. That's where the, the, the bad acid comes from that burns ulcers. Your stomach acid doesn't burn an ulcer. It doesn't make sense. Why should the body produce something that, you know, doesn't really make sense? Um, what you can do, and I have that in the fridge. I'm going to get that for you. Long time no talk about my favorite friend, the itchy... No, not the itchy, the um, slimy, sl most slimy healing plant. What's this? It costed 50, 75 cents. It's aloe vera leaf. That's uh, going to help with the stomach ulcer. Why? Because aloe vera is incredible in healing scars and in uh, helping to restore tissue. That's what we're really about. So what I would do is um, I would definitely go low fat for you. You know, don't want to put more more stress, low protein, low fat, so we don't um, put more stress on your digestive system, actually can help it heal. Um, if you can do ginger, ginger will help as well with the inflammation that is caused by the ulcer, and aloe vera water. Aloe vera water like crazy. If you can't get the fresh aloe vera leaf, I would use like this amount, scrape it out every morning and every evening, aloe vera water, just this gel like inside not the green stuff guys not the green don't eat the green stuff especially for aloe vera and uh, just the gel put it in a blender with water drink that um like this amount no like 
three, three tablespoons would be good. If you can't get the fresh one I have in the shop, peggyshumer.com slash shop, just on the website, um, you will see a recommendation for aloe vera gel that you can also use and you just buy it on Amazon. It's a clean one. Usually this stuff is not clean. So that's stuff you can, you can start with Lynn. Hope that helps. <laughs> Shireen, how do I shrink, shrink fibroids? I have followed the medical medium program uh, protocol. It's time. That's it. Consistency and time. That's it. Um, zinc also will really be helpful because those fibroids, they are not there because the body just creates fibroids. What does the body do in those fibroids, right? It isolates the surrounding tissue from virus debris, from virus toxins, from neurotoxins. Um, so that's a viral issue, mostly heavy, heavy metals and viral issues. So like heavy metal detox smoothie like nuts, lots of spirulina, a lot of zinc, a B12 and time. Consistency, time. I know it sucks, but that's just, that's it. That's it, Shireen. Da -da, Steve. Steve, I have large pores on my face, cheek, talking about gut health here. <laughs> just kidding. And under my eyes, dark, dark circles or dark sunken. This is, what is this a sign of? Uh, kidneys, adrenals, liver. There we go. This is what you want to focus on. Uh, less fat, more cleansing food, more raw, more salad, more greens. Greens are really good for the face. You know, they help really um, to get your town back. Carrots are awesome too, like carrot juice, fresh carrot juice, not overdoing it, but you know, like eight ounces per day carrot juice would be good. Um, and aloe vera for you would be great too. You can put that on your face. I do that every night. I do my slimy, slimy thing, massage a little bit. Um, when I think when I think about it and um, that's also going to help with the large pores I also have large pores here on my nose I have that for my, my mom for my mom but I'm working with it you know I'm putting the aloe vera on it helps um, okay Emlyn Emlyn hi Peggy can I take vitamin b12 z d3 zinc together after eating or do I have to take those vitamins with zinc separately. Okay, cool. So vitamins in general, best before food, better absorption. Um, B12 especially, put that under the tongue if you have the liquid one. If you don't have the liquid one, don't put any B12 in yourself. Need the, it has to be a liquid one, um, but I'm assuming that you have that because you're here for a while, right? Um, so if you want to do the vitamin B, that's a good one before, um, you know, first thing when you wake up or after the celery juice. The Z, can, C and D, they can go in the smoothie and zinc always together with food. So that helps. Okay, guys, how are you doing, guys? Before I continue, I'll need a break for just drinking something. How's everybody? How is everybody doing? Just give me one sentence or one word How's this going? Great. Natalie, I love the immediate feedback. You're a quick one. Lynn helped. Yeah, enjoying the Sarah. <laughs> Happy to be here. Great, Ryan. Keep going with the info. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, cool. Peachy. <laughs> Peachy. Burning stomach. Amazing. Great, great. Okay. Guys, thank you so much for being here. This is really, um, I really enjoy doing this. And I love that, you know, you are all, we are all here. You know, we're all in the same boat. Um, I wish I would have had that when I was struggling. You know, I was just feeling alone and, you know, that I'm kind of not worthy to be healthy. And, you know, it sucks and nobody could really help me and understand me. And I'm really, this this uh, session is really, or this, this the, the channel is really all about that we can all heal, you know, and we all are experts for our own body. It's not about just going out there and asking other people what's wrong with you, um, but really like with some feedback, like learning how to trust this amazing, you know, you all, everybody gets this amazing tool, which is crazy. We are, it's so complex. We have no idea how to understand it. So, um, yeah. So Paulina, what I'm drinking, I said this a few times, but maybe you weren't here yet. I'm drinking coffee. No, just kidding. I'm having, uh, this is like a chai tea with some almond milk. It's my, it's my 
afternoon coffee treat. Okay, I'm scrolling back up. Remember guys, uh, if you want to stick out and you feel like your question is not getting answered, use the super chat button if you have one. Okay, scrolling up, pardon. Where were we? Matt Marin Capelli, sounds Italian. Beautiful name. I started celery juicing two weeks ago and I'm experiencing more diarrhea than ever and my skin is breaking out like crazy. Awesome, that's great. How long should I give this a shot before deciding it's not right for me? Oh no, well, this is great, Matt, it's working. I'm sorry to, you know, I know it sucks. You know, you maybe had a better skin before, had a good skin and suddenly you look like a teenager. But that's a good thing because that's the that's the streptococcus dying and it comes out through the through the dermatoxins so um and viruses and stuff so it's a good thing good thing the diarrhea will take a while to to get away depending on how much junk you have in your gut no offense we all do but this cleansing process really takes a while if you feel like it gets too much you know sometimes diarrhea can be very unpractical if you're kind of in a workplace you know and public toilet, you know, so I'm not going into more detail. Um, you can also, um, you know, have like less celery juice in the beginning, like eight ounces, you know, don't, I know Sarah, for example, she always wants to do the best. You always want to get to 16 ounces, but sometimes it's just about, you know, we're starting with cucumber juice, but for you, you're already doing it since two weeks. So it's working. You, I wouldn't say like you need to change just a little bit less, maybe, you know, for you to make the symptoms bearable. The body likes it very very likely um but for you to make the symptoms bearable you can you know reduce the amount of celery juice in the beginning and if you, it gets really bad you can always you know change for a while to cucumber juice and then go back to celery but that stuff is working it's good this is like the the, the most general it happens all the time you know this is part of the healing process george s hello what about crohn's disease what that what question what about Crohn's disease? Yeah, it's existing. Um, so I think, do I have a video about this? I recently had one woman reaching out to me. Um, we get these wonderful emails. Yeah, that's also the reason why I'm doing this because it's so rewarding, guys. Um, so we get um, we got an email, I think Tammy. Oh, yeah, she has a testimony on her website now. And she also had Crohn's disease. She was able to heal Crohn's disease just following the gut healing challenge that I have on the... Um, on the homepage, which is like a one week uh, meal plan with shopping list and everything. And um, that helped her. And she also went off eggs. That was a big one, the uh, going off eggs because eggs are viral feeder. Crohn, uh, Crohn's is a viral issue. It has nothing to do with autoimmune that your body's attacking itself, blah, 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 blah. Can't hear that anymore. It's a viral issue com combination with toxic heavy metals. So that's what you want to work on, George. Um, you're a woman. I thought you're a man. Okay, sorry, George. Okay. Good. Um, Silvana. I think you're not alone with this. Silvana Bella. How can I get rid of varicose veins? Veins. I never how to say this. Veins uh, without surgery. Um, all my family has it. Of course they do. Um, how can I treat it? I tried laser, but it hurts a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... The, the whole varicose veins has a lot to do with what we had before with um, Katie. It's just another way of manifesting it. It has to do with bl dirty blood syndrome. So you want to varicose veins, 100% in your mind. You can anchor this right now, liver. Liver, 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 liver. Takes a while. It's a huge organ, one and a half kilos, three pounds in your right upper side. Um, takes a while, but that's the place to start the cleansing process. That's the place to start um, cleansing your blood. So working on your liver, helping the liver clean, no crazy flushes. Look at the, the gut feelings videos all about uh, liver healing. That's where you want to start. And then time and patience. Um, that's, that's where it goes from. It has nothing to do with being inherited. We, we, um, you can transmit toxins through the breast milk, even through the sperm. You can transmit um, heavy metals, you know, heavy metals that are oxidizing in the brain, that are oxidizing in the liver, creating a lot of... Um, a lot of issues, you know, beyond just varicose veins. Veins. Um, so that's something you wanna you wanna focus on. It's not genetic. It's not autoimmune. Nothing to do with that. 
la, la mano, what if I have gallstone? Yeah, when you have gallstones, um, I have a whole video just about what to do if you have gallstones. Then you just watch that video. Celery juice is a good start um, to get rid of those gallstones, but really there is a lot to understand how those gallstones uh, form in the beginning, uh, form in the in the first place, because you need to, it's like baking. You need the right ingredients in order for you to make a cookie or a stone. If you don't have the right ingredients, no stone. It's as easy as that. Dairy products and and uh, animal products are number one ingredient for stones. So that's already a good place to start. And just look for, um, put into YouTube, gut feelings, gallstones. You're going to find one video and it's going to be, it's going to be a revelation for you. Um, I hope. Uh, at least it helped uh, in the past. So that's something to do. Ah, <sighs> Mamas. Scrolling down a little bit. Ryan. Ryan, I, I can't pronounce your Irish uh, last name. I'm, I'm assuming that's the last name. Um, I, I oife. I oife. I oife. Ryan asks, what's the most effective way of healing panic attacks? I can, I can barely leave the house. Ah, you can barely, sorry, yes, you said barley. I was like barley grass juice powder. I can barely leave the house. Um, might I set off so easily? Yes. I'm on a raw fruit, vegetable, juice diet for the last three days, and I'm willing to do anything. Okay, uh, Ryan, so if you're willing to do anything <laughs> in this case, um, slow, slow. You can also get panic attacks if you detox too fast. Because the body is just getting overwhelmed. No crazy stuff. So maybe that uh, raw fruit, vegetable juice diet is just too much. And I'm not saying this is not, I mean, it's much better than if you would like eat raw meat, you know, raw carnivore diet. What's the next thing happening? Or just eggs all day? Mono, mono diet with eggs? Hmm. Um, don't do this stuff. Um, that's uh, already a good a good mood, but then I would need to know more like what was your past, you know, what you did, what did you do in the past, what issues apart from those panic attacks do you have? They are mostly, mostly panic attacks are not just emotional or psychological, they are very physical. You know, we had just had this with a client today, um, she has this, you know, like dizziness, like direction in years, and uh, vestibular dizziness and she's been told like basically also from her parents and like everybody around her just go to a psychiatrist when we can't find anything um go to a psychiatrist it's not gonna help it's not gonna because it's physical it's not her anxiety it's not her you know that she's crazy or bad childhood that can all be like with the bad childhood not that she's crazy um <laughs> but that's not going to be like the main trigger you know, that stuff makes stuff worse, but panic attacks and anxiety and stuff like that, that's never just physical and never just emotional. So um, understanding more about how your body detoxes and what's a good pace for you and also the different organs that are um, that are part of this process. So Ryan, this is, for example, what I'm doing with the Gut Feel Academy, with the students that we go for, we go for a process. Also the process I'm sharing in the masterclass in the free training. You know, it's a six-step uh, process um, where in, the f in one of the first steps, you have to help the body to get out of emergency state. Emergency state is basically a, body, uh, a state where whatever you do, the body is like a screaming child. You know, can't talk to it. You know, or take this toy, Wah! or uh, eat this food, Wah! resistance. You know, and this is what panic attacks really are. They're, they're like a cry from the, from the body. It's, it's in a shock state. So um, that's that's one way to that's one one place to start, you know, and doing everything slowly, slow changes, nothing crazy. Yeah, if you want to check that out, Ryan, if that's the right thing for you for the academy, you can also go to. Um, let me just put this here, and for everybody else interested, we just created this page. Um, join the academy, so you can learn more about this. Um, if it's the right thing for you, so you know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about, hey, Katie from the Gutfeeler Academy, hey, Sarah, hey, Natalie. So, um, yeah, maybe you check that out if, if it helps. Okay. Sen. Then let's hear what your question is. I'm constantly on the go on the weekends or work days. 
feels like I always have to prep a giant lunch bag. Ha ha. Hmm. Uh, do you do this? Uh, could you make a video of a day in Peggy's shoes? Ha ha. Would be so cool. Okay, that's not really a question. It's like a, more like a, a request. Um, yeah. So guys, in the beginning, especially the body adjusts. So the body adjusts to a diet that is lower in fat. This is basically part of the um, for most people, how the healing journey looks like that we eat way too much fat, way too much protein and reducing that in order for the body to heal, you know, less stress on the uh, digestive system, more energy for other stuff. And, um, so that's one way. And that's also like, that takes, takes time that the body adjusts to this, to this different, um, yeah, different food sources also because you have bacteria in your body for different uh, purposes. So some bacteria that eat meat some bacteria that eat um, gluten, some bacteria eat fruits. So it's all different bacteria. You know, we have so many thousand millions of bacteria and they all like different things. So if you have been eating like, okay, extreme, like a standard American diet, um, you know, with pumice and rice and fish and uh, ketchup, that you have a certain type of bacteria in your body. You know, it's very established. When you then start um, doing raw juice uh, cleansing, the body's going, going nuts. You're going to go crazy. So um, this, ta this takes time for the body to adjust to this. Now, what I'm hearing uh, you're saying is that you need the giant lunch bag because of the calorie density. Because those foods like raw vegetables, raw fruits, or even cooked vegetables, um, they are lower. They have You need more volume for the same amount of calories, which is a good thing because it helps the body cleanse. But it's not very practical in the beginning. So one thing that I like to do personally when I'm traveling, um, I have those those foods that you can eat without packing. You know, cucumber, a banana comes in its old hygienic peel, you know, 100% COVID safe. Um, so I'm eating that. You know, there is some background proof here. Here we go. Um, bananas, organic bananas from Boquete, from the mountain region here in Panama, where I live. And... So those foods, and then I like lentils, for example, red lentils. Just talking about with Sarah today about red lentils. Um, red lentil uh, curry that you can just put in a pot and then eat, or red lentil like 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 flan, like little crabs that are crispy and you can, like bread. Um, there are, those are more calorie dense. And then also for some people, um, no, Sen, I'm not sure where you are in your healing journey, but for some people it's okay to have a little bit of avocado to have a little bit of coconut milk, you know, with the lentils, for example, that gives some, that gives some calorie density. Dates are a really good snack on the go. I personally like coconut water. I'm just always, you know, when I go to a cafe and I'm going to work, drink my, 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 my peppermint tea there. And then I always have my bag, you know, my gallon of coconut water and like, <laughs> because it gives me energy, it gives me, uh, you know, minerals and great for the brain, healthy glucose, potassium, everything. So yeah, I hear you. Uh, a day in Peggy's shoes. Well, today we can't really tape that because I ate rice crackers with with uh, jam. <laughs> I can't do that. It's not very. I'm not always the best person to to be seen with on camera. Um, I'm I'm gonna be honest, you know, because I don't want you to think like, oh, Peggy's just gonna eat raw salad all day and she looks happy. No, I you know I sometimes eat not so healthy stuff. But the general motion is definitely what you see on the channel. You know, I try to avoid gluten and dairy and, you know, uh, I don't eat animals mostly. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, let me, let me do a little bit more, a few more questions and then I'll say goodbye just here. Hmm. Tara Pine. Supplements you recommend are hard to find in Germany. Do you have tips where to get them? I do. I do. So, Tara, um, you can, one thing that you can do, like for the base, basic supplements, so the, the ones, oh, I have them here. <laughs> for the ones that are perfectly, that are the most important ones. So, this one, B12, you can see this here with the, yeah, B12, the liquid B12. Um, this one comes from Global Healing Center and they ship internationally. So you can use the link and you also get 10% off if you use the discount code PEGGY because I'm, I'm, I'm partnering with them. They are awesome. They're the best, um, 
the best um, supplement brand I ever encountered. And I encountered many, and this is the only reason why I'm partnering with them. Um, so you can find the discount code and also the link. Um, they, they ship internationally 100%. I have friends in Germany which always ask me, oh, I have a discount code, Piggy. What's the discount code today? So <laughs> I know they ship there. And then also same one here. Um, this is from Good State. I think I also have a discount code for them. But they, if you, uh, in any case, they are also on the website shop um, for the zinc, and they also ship internationally. Yes, you have might to pay a little bit of postage, but just order more of them because they are kind of, you know, you will have this, this is essential when you can share it with your friends. That's a love, uh, a love uh, way of sharing love, sharing zinc, especially now. Put them back. Um, so, and, and other than that, what I'm really into is because it's not just Germany that sometimes it's difficult because most of the most of the links that I'm providing is for US. Um, if it's difficult in Germany or in uh, Canada as well, they have some you know uh, issues with getting it there, and even Global Healing Center can't get there. So if that's the case, then what I created is is called uh, my gut supplement kit. And in that, it's like a video tutorial with some um, check sheets as well, like a mini ebook that comes with that. And what that is, is it helps to understand how to find good gut supplements. I even got a free video here on YouTube, um, what to check for when you find your own supplement in your own country, you know, because I really want to, I'm rather, you know, have you educated and know how you can do it yourself than being like dependent on me and just telling you yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Oh, wait till Peggy answers. Yes, no, yes, no. No, like there's some, there are some basics that you can learn and to find the, the supplement is the right thing for you um, if you are in another country. So that's something I can recommend to check out and you can find that. Let me find that link. Uh, here, wait. I'm on the paste part. There we go. That's the link you want to follow. Should have come through. Yep. Okay. That's the one to do. Okay, guys. I know I haven't answered all your questions. Um, I've did my best. I'm 47 minutes in. And guys, if you want to learn more, like what your you know, how to, what to expect from a healing journey and how really the system works that I created. It's called the gut feeler system, um, gut feeling system, gut feeler system, how this works and how I healed myself, like going through step by step by step, also with the emergency state that I mentioned before, then check out the uh, the masterclass. You know, peggyshomer.com slash masterclass. I also had that link here in the chat box and also underneath in the comments. Um, or I'm going to put it there in the comments in a second. So thank you so much, guys, for joining. I hope this was valuable, even if I maybe was not able to answer your question or not, you know, not enough time. Um, but, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, cheers to your Thursday, Gut Healing Thursday. I'm going to see you soon back uh, in whatever way we're going to find each other back. Thank you so much for joining, and I'll see you soon. Bye.